Stunning new headline breaking right now from former senior investigators, six of them, of the mysterious crash of TW Flight A, Flight 800, 17 years ago off Long Island. Now these six whistleblowers are breaking their silence, saying that the final report was falsified and the crash was not an accident. ABC's Brian Ross is here with the very latest this morning. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Elizabeth. As you know, the official cause of the explosion was determined to be a faulty fuel tank, not terrorism. But in a new documentary about to be made public, these former investigators claim the FBI and others covered up what really happened. And their theory, although unproven, is that a missile came near the plane and hit it or exploded near it shortly after it took off from Kennedy Airport and was heading to Paris. This theory had been thoroughly rebutted following the investigation, but the former investigators, including a senior investigator for the National Transportation Safety Board named Hank Hughes, alleges the FBI doctored the evidence. This is some of what he's saying in that documentary. About there's a lot, of, the a lot of search boats. One right witness now. described a big fireball with pieces coming off. And the hangar had been disturbed at night. They set up video surveillance in my hangar and found that three FBI agents from another office uh, had entered the hangar for purposes unknown in, in the wee hours of the morning. And that is what he has to say about it, claiming what apparently would have to be one of the largest cover-ups in the history of this country involving the FBI and every other major agency to hide the fact that a missile hit this plane. And we both have been covering this story since it happened, tragically killing all those people. And there have long been rumors around that there was some sort of flash in the sky, a missile seen in the sky. And now we have not only those two accident investigators, the chief medical examiner, the senior medical forensics examiner, it sounds like they've got a pretty decent cadre of people with reputations. Well, they have appealed to the families, many of whom were never satisfied with the explanation, a kind of mundane explanation that it was a mechanical flaw, not a missile. But a lot of that has been disproved, having covered this very closely, and originally I myself thought this must have been some act of terrorism. I think it was not, as my own view, uh, but this new information certainly will lead to a controversy being reignited and uh, claims that they'll have to be addressed by uh, the government. And only once has the NTSB reopened and investigation like this and that was way back in I think 1968 right. so chances not good well hard to say this is certainly going to be controversial and uh, puts alive again a debate that had been settled Brian thank you so much